things have taken a turn for the worst over here. And our hotel's running on a skeleton crew and restaurants are closing and everything is just getting just slightly scary. We are working on trying to figure out how to get home. We don't actually know how to do that because we can't get a hold of anybody. So our plan right now is we are going to uh, just go to the nearest airport and walk up to an airline counter and figure out what is the easiest way to get us back into the States. I think it's gonna be a really long day and we're all kind of bummed that our trip has turned into this and we're all really tired and we're all a little scared and overwhelmed and we all just wanna be home. So we're gonna work on doing that. Okay. We are going to get on a flight out of here. We're going to fly to London in a couple of hours. I have no earthly idea what's going to happen when we get to London. I, uh, there's nobody here to even talk to about an international flight. So we just got to get to London where then we can talk to somebody about getting us back to the States. Still in Ireland. They said, come back at three. We'll get you on a plane. We came back at three, but there was nobody here. So now they say we're getting on a plane at 5.30. It's gonna take us to London. And then we're gonna try to find a hotel room in London because there's no way we're getting out of London tonight. I, I don't know when we'll get out of London. We're working on it. I'm tired. I'm so stinking tired. It's been a really long day. I haven't actually gotten on a flight yet. We're boarding! We're going to London! Yay! Paul's washing her hands again with her. <laughs> we're on the plane! We're going. Oh, we're getting out of here. We'll see you in London. Hopefully to London. Going to London. They said this plane was going to London, so where we're gonna go. London. I got a tiny little nap on the plane. Which, um, I'm hoping will keep me going for a few more hours. We're going to go uh, get our bags and find a ticketing counter. And try to get it overseas. Uh... Sorry, there's a lot going on in this airport. We're gonna go try to find tickets home. We made it to the United Ticketing Desk at she London Heathrow. They're closed. They won't be open again until 4 a.m. This terminal is absolutely jam-packed full of people trying to get the crap out of here and United's desk is closed. I'm gonna stay really positive and really calm and we're gonna figure this shit out. You know, honestly, the only thing I know to do is just vlog my way through this. We have found a place to sit down. We have ordered some food. They're gonna bring it to us and then we're gonna eat it. And then we're gonna find a place to sleep. And I don't care if I have to mortgage the house to pay for a bed to sleep in, I'm gonna do that.
You guys, this trip started sucking. We had some food. Look at that. Put my hat on backwards. I'm about to get shit done. I'm gonna find us some beds to sleep in. There's so many things happening. I'm gonna find his pets. Good news, should have turned my hat around a long time ago. Cause not only did I find us beds right here in the airport at the Air Hotel, we got tickets out of here tomorrow. I don't know how we did it, Aunt Kathy. Aunt Kathy gets shit done. We got tickets out of here tomorrow. I have no idea where I'm going, but it's supposed to be going stateside. I have somewhere to sleep. We're lost. We're lost. Really lost in the airport. So, by the grace of God, I managed to find the last two rooms at the Air Hotel. <laughs> We're completely delirious at this point. Mom and I are gonna share a bed. Kathy's got her own room with an ad. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a shower. And I'm gonna get some sleep. And we're getting on a flight at 9.25 tomorrow morning. Headed to Chicago. Still may take me three days to get through Chicago. I'm getting stateside tomorrow. I even have an upgraded seat. So, I will keep you posted, but I'm not talking to you people till tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. We are through security, getting ready to hit up a lounge. Maybe get a spot of breakfast before we get on our flight. But we have boarding passes to Chicago. What? We're getting the hell out of here. <sighs> I really love London. It's my happy place. But I wish I'd seen more of it than just the airport. <sighs> Maybe next time. All right, I gotta go find a lounge. Yummy. It's food. On the plane. Look. On the mimosa. Which is going to get me to Chicago. Gotta be honest. Business class does not suck. It is so nice to be able to stretch out and relax. on the ground in Chicago. I have no idea what's gonna happen now, but we're gonna go find out. We got these handy dandy worksheets we get to fill out about how we are feeling right now. Didn't really ask anything about anxiety or whether or not I wanted a drink. But guess what guys? We sailed through the screening. It was not at all what we were expecting. We walked right up to it. We had our forms filled out. We weren't running any fevers, we weren't coughing or having any sore throats. They let us right on through, we were able to recheck our bags, and we are moving towards a connection to Kansas City. Should be home this afternoon. This journey is almost over, and as bummed out as I am, 
that we didn't get to do everything we had planned. I am so excited to get home. Love y'all. Last plane, this one's taking us to Kansas City. And then we get to see Papa and Brian and the girls and all the dogs. And this will all just be a memory. Oh